This is a problem that we did about a bicycle. We had a cyclist. We had a cyclist that was traveling uh, initially at, at rest, so zero, and a final velocity. Uh, let's just call that V of 22 miles per hour. And that happened over a time frame of six hours. And so the question was, what's the distance traveled? And what we realized in this problem is that we had two kinematic equations so far. But the problem is that both of them involve acceleration. And so we have a great equation in the first one for calculating position, but it needs acceleration. So what we do is we um, took the second equation and we solved it for acceleration. So that's subtracting v naught from both sides and dividing by time. And so that's 22 miles per hour minus 0 all over 6 hours. And we got a number of 3.6 miles per hour squared. And then we took that number and the top equation and we plug them in together so that x is equal to x naught plus v naught t plus one half a t squared. So we can choose x naught to be zero. The problem said that v naught is zero and we're left with one half times 3.6 miles per hour squared times six hours squared and this turned out to be 66 miles, and that was the answer. Then the problem asked to graph it, and what we're going to do here is we're going to graph a function, x as a function of time, that's one half, because the other two terms are zero, a t squared. You can plug in different values for t and get the different values of x, or you can use Google, and when you Google something y equals, you're telling Google that you want a graph. And it will actually graph this equation for you. So here's the acceleration, 3.6. Here's the factor of 1 half and t squared. And if you check it out, indeed, at 6 hours, 6 hours, you have gone 66 miles. Now, we also said that there's actually an even easier way to do this problem. And the easier way to do this problem is use one of the other kinematic equations. And so if we do this problem again, but symbolically, what we derived is that you can get the kinematic equation that looks like x minus x naught is 1 half v plus v naught times time. And this is really easy because this is what we want here, the answer, x minus x naught, or you can let x naught equal 0. And this is 1 half. The final was 22 miles per hour. The initial was 0, and the time was 6 hours. So 1 half of 22 is 11 times 6 is just 66 miles. So is one of these ways better than the other? Not really. One is quicker, though, than the other. And um, you can choose either one you want. Experience will help you decide.